Hey Shooby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well today we are going to draw a Spitfire, but uh, let's not talk about it, <laughs> let's do it. Well the draw stuff real easy way is to sketch out in pencil, draw it in ink and then erase all the pencil lines. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to draw a line, it needs to be at a shallowish angle, so this is going to be right down the centre of the aircraft. I'm going to put little lines at each end and one in the middle and one in the middle of both of those spaces just to give us a basic kind of plan of what's going on. Now you want to come in about a third, is that maybe a quarter in there, a quarter of the way there. Come up a little bit and we want to go forward. That's kind of parallel but then it's coming down to there and then coming down in a nice curve like that and then that will be the nose cone here we want to go up and we're going to go kind of across and it'll be aiming for about here so that's coming down slightly like that very gently and then curving up and into the tail plane which is then going to come down kind of like that and this is essentially coming all the way down around and underneath like that there will be kind of a line that comes down there and then let's get this cockpit in here so that sort of comes down like a like a kind of an S shape and then that will want to go up there that's kind of quite narrow and there's a bit of a bubble there in fact and a kind of a triangle at the front and a thingy <laughs> like that. Now this is the point at which the wings come out and it's almost exactly the same angle as that line coming down there and that wants to come forward there in a little bit and <laughs> this is this is the really tricky bit this is the bit that it makes it a, a spitfire so that's quite curved around like that which is kind of aiming in sort of the middle section there but here we want this coming really around like that so it's sort of it's coming forward and then here we don't want that to be the same angle this should be because it's dihedral which means the wings are kind of like that so this wants to be slightly more angled um, this will be we want a kind of a, a feel for the, the thickness of the wings so that will be coming from about there and then we want a different kind of angle coming out like that in a little bit and then and then we want that kind of curve coming in there like that it's a very strange difficult thing to draw actually so the tail planes again tail fins tail fin tail wing hmm <laughs> they'll be going then like oh, even shallower there I think like that so let's ink this in I think this wants to come back slightly and across like that and a bit of a bubble and kind of across and down. Now we could have the pilot inside so go up and down so those are his kind of goggles in there and then we want to come back and curve up into the tail plant tail fin here yeah, this needs to go just here we have a bit of a curve there to give a bit of a thickness to that tail wing come that way and forward up and across and that one will be coming forward there too now here bring that down and around and forward and up to the propeller like that we want a wah like that <laughs> and we want the bottom of the plane coming forward like that this will come forward into the nose cone and up and around and this wants to be nice and curved coming forward into that there like that when you are absolutely sure the ink is dry then you can erase all those pencil lines now first of all I'm going to put in a little radio mast there with a wire going across and then down here we want to have the tail wheel 
and then we want to have the roundel on the front like that so that's blue and red which is a bit weird because there's no white on the wings no no red white and blue and then here again we want that to be kind of like that and we're going to want to have a curve there and a curve there so that would be a white stripe going all the way around and I don't know what the proper lettering is and I don't want to choose a particular plane either so I'm going to do that and there's a very fine line with a yellow line and then we want the red white and blue in there so I'm going to put A2 something like that there here we want to have the exhaust pipes well, one two three four five one six in there so this is um the merlin engine has a very particular sound and we can put little bits of spinning kind of shading on the nose cone there and you're going to want to have <laughs> the propellers this is the tricky bit so we want to come off in this direction and that will be getting bigger as you get to the end and again this will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger and then we want the one down below and some people say that's only three propellers spitfires have four propellers some spitfires have four propellers some have three uh, there's lots of different sort of versions and variations of spitfires and then i think all we need to do is to kind of put some camouflage in here and make these little curves there that sort of helps to give that curve to the uh, shape of the wing and again here if we kind of did that like that and maybe that's sort of coming up and a curve in there and then maybe we'll have one that's sort of coming up over the um the body and we'll have that sort of going in there here we have a little red white and blue flag as well so we'll have something in there and you can have some clouds some whoosh marks to make it go fast and then the camouflage is basically a sort of a, a gray and a very dull olive green and you want a little bit of duck egg blue underneath and then the red and the white and the blue there you go how to draw a spitfire well, i hope you enjoyed that and if you did make sure that you are subscribed to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back every week four o'clock thursdays for lots more drawing and in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.